Okay guys, we're now getting to the end of Emerald and the start of Diamond ELO in this series. So for this game, there's one subject that I want to talk about and it's the way you're going to end your games. There's different schools, different theories for the same situation where some people like to think that you should go for the fastest end because the faster you end, the less time you give to your opponent to actually make a comeback, even if it's riskier the way you're going to end it. And there is another school of thought that says you need to go for the cleanest end. And for me, I'm a big defender of going for the cleanest end. I am a big defender of like, if there's a way you can end the game 100% guaranteed, but it's a 95% because it's never like 100%. And another way where it's 60% but you end in a minute, uh, these like two or three minutes difference are not going to matter. You should go for the highest percentage play. And sometimes it makes me have a big disagreements with my teammates in solo queue. And sometimes I'm forced to go towards their play style as much as possible. I try to force them into going in my play state and i think you should do as well because i believe personally that's not a play state that's just like straight up better you know like 95 percent success rate 60 percent success rate well, let's go for 95 percent you know like well, what's 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 the subject here i don't even see it especially when you're playing against smaller like this game was an extra like late game and and if they come back from that one fight it can go really bad or when you're playing trindamir that loses a lot of power in very late game as well so there's that and there's also the rest of the game which i play pretty decently in and a good Camille matchup as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. Okay, guys, so we're still in the Earn to Master series. We're now getting to a low diamond MMR, high emerald low diamond. And we're gonna keep doing the things that we've been doing so far. Because it's always the same way to play League. So first thing first, let's do the thinking. So they have insane scaling on bot lane. Our bot lane is... Well, Jin has really good scaling if enemy team is full squishy. And I guess except Camille, they have a lot of squishy champions. So uh, Jin actually has its place in this game. Uh, Brent also has pretty good scaling. And the thing that I like is that they have uh, chain CC. They can actually deal a lot of damage. Uh, they have some 2v2... Uh, pressure potential but the thing is karma is able to make smaller like just be safe and scale up he has feet he has heal he has overheal as well most likely oh shit yeah, i should have seen that coming that's what the day players do most likely just gonna ward here so i'm actually you know what fuck it let me drop my ward and walk away. Yeah, I need to make sure that Nidali doesn't get enabled and doesn't do some crazy invades. Well, she's doing one right now. When I come, come, uh, let me wait. Rob, Nida might start Raptors. Okay, she doesn't. I mean, with Q start, it wasn't the best start for her to start Raptors, but better save than sorry. Uh, okay, way into Fizz. Well, if Fizz doesn't snowball, Hui is just gonna have better impact overall. Need to start it in there. There, Jungle. So, about Camille, it's all about like short trades versus long trades. She wins short trades, you win long trades. Now, if I get the level 2 advantage... Ah, oh, it's true, I didn't have a ward. I actually tried to ward the bush. Well, that was still a really good... trade for me. Can we not dive? Ah. Uh. Okay, well, it's bouncing back to me. And I have a Warwick, so it means that because she's low HP, Warwick is gonna run fast to her. 
So with enough patience, if I don't get hit by W's, so she doesn't heal back up. I guess we can set up for a very easy gank. Yeah, after golems. I'm fine with him coming after golems, the wave would be better. So I E in. Gonna look to bait. Nice. Okay, base now. Nice, nice, nice. She's tipping. Amazing. Yo, Kiwi, ça va ou quoi? It's been a long time. Nice to see you, mate. Nice, nice to see you. Ah, Sage. Like, Nidalee and Fizz are the two champions that want to snowball, and we don't want to snowball. And. And they're getting kills. This is really bad. I can get Dove. By Nida. So I'm gonna try to get as much XP as possible. Because level 5 could be what saves me from a dive. Now I'm seeing that I'm not going to be able to Q before my next level. Uh, now she gets a shutdown. She still has E. Is, like it's likely that Nida is still top side. So as much as I wanna go crazy on Camille, I need to make sure that Nida isn't here. Okay, she's bot. Oh next wave I get level six. Camille cannot stay, I will have ghost and level six. So that's what I'm playing for. Nice, exactly what I wanted. Amazing. Exactly what I was playing for. Ah shit, I should have waited the demolish. I thought it was teched. I'll just clear this way first and walk away. I'm not gonna greet the other plates. Okay, need a steel bot. Yeah, that's that's to say uh hi again, Kiwi. We'll come back here. Okay, let's go tier two boots. Nice! So, so far so good. Let's check, let's do a team check. So, Smolder is not able to scale up like he wants to. Is he good in terms of stacks? No, he has low stacks. Uh, well, he died twice. But he still has more XP than my Jin. So, there's that. Um, I have a kill of Karma. So, overall bot lane is fine, but still not the best. Um, just because of the XP div. Well, Fizz was able to get some. Fizz, Fizz don't they? Nah. That could be a very big win condition for them. Very big one. Um, Nida is not completely enabled, but still. Got a guild, got an assist. It's not like she doesn't have resources. And my Warwick got kills. Hope he's close to level 6. Okay, but I mean, he's kind of taking the whole wave. Okay, the thing is, I, I don't want to... I don't want to let Camille playing on the map for free. So, I'm, I'm fine missing gold and XP. In order to actually have the push.
and be able to punish on room. That's this with the plate, you know. Is that something? Yeah. Uh, if he's moving, we don't see him. She almost didn't didn't get that E on the wall. Okay, well, we messed that up. I've go soon though. Okay, or well she doesn't have E. No, don't take the aggro. Really good. Does she have TP backup? She might. So let me make sure that we get the wave quick. Get the plate quick. And the base quick. Okay, yeah, she doesn't. Still, I don't want to take T1 too early. Don't fight this, 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 don't fight this! Why are you walking this way? You just go towards top? What? Never mind, I'm playing with... I'm playing with Faker and, and Owner. My team. I still, I still believe it was bad. Like it's not because it worked that it was good. I feel like I can kill that guy. Okay, he tp top. So maybe I can look for a plate. I'm guessing Fizz doesn't have ult. Maybe that's a wrong guess. I feel like that would make more sense. Swap again. I get you one here. Who is a bit lost? I don't think his TP top was necessary. Either roam and dive me. Well, I don't think she can dive you with the range that you have. Like, you have one of the highest range in the game. You have more range than Zereth. So if she dives you, it's probably that you're doing something wrong. I have a lot of gold. I have Kraken. There's uh, Drake. I might, I might actually move for Drake. Not sure. When you're not sure about where you're going on the map, guys, what do you do? You click mid, keep your options open. I don't know about that trade kill. And now I know. Okay, jump. After taking plates top, you can threaten mid. Gonna make big use of that demolish. Okay. There is 
What is it? Okay, there's grabs for like 15 seconds and then Herald spawns. I'm gonna ping, ping it. If we want them, we need to be on spawn. I actually want them straight. Can I take them in 16 seconds? Is it enough to take grubs? Oh! Well, hello you! Now I... Yeah, I don't have the time anymore. Oh, they actually... Okay, they despawn... Pretty early before Herald. I didn't know that. I learned something. This game is worth... Regardless of the outcome. Okay, I think I should be fine here. I don't like that Warwick is still doing bot camps. Plus, it took him forever. Like, he was in bot camps, like, before I was even killing uh, Nidalee. Okay, this time I dodge it. Concerned that my Jin gets just one shot by Fizz. Okay, Drake in two minutes. I'm playing for this. Ah, uh, but it's not the best Drake still. We see everyone but Camille. Okay, well, I even saw Camille, so we see everyone. As, as fun as it is to charge with Herald, it's not always the best play. I would have actually lost time if I charged. Okay, my whole team died. I mean, I'm losing gold by not finishing it, but I actually don't want to get inhib. I want to make sure that we get T3, but the Terror days as well. I'm gonna empty the jungle, make sure they get nothing. I shouldn't red shrink it, I know that they don't have vision. And get as strong as possible for Drake, that's my plan now. Give me three numbers, 7, 21, and 15. Can I wait for Zeal? I was gonna say wait all, but they're absolutely not waiting. What is this? Guess I need to micromanage. I still believe we can fight. Like I'm, I'm that strong. Okay, we can we can take it slow. But that's not slow. Oh, he missed that. <laughs> ah, big quadra. Still, we get Drake. He missed that, uh, Sedge. Oh, still a pretty good play. Um, he the man, yes, but you guys are not. That's it, that's strange. Yeah. 
Pourquoi tu es illégal là? Mi bot. Yes, way go stop. Botlane goes mid. Si. All planned, all planned. Now is a better timer. I really don't like my team, bro. They're like they're respecting zero champions in the mid team. They're playing like enemy team that didn't exist. Like if we don't have vision, it means that no one is here. Basically, that's that's how they're playing. Well, I, at least, oh, I was gonna say, at least I don't have a shutdown anymore, but I actually do have a shutdown. It's a pretty big one. Bro, I'm, I'm using red trinkets when I know that they don't have vision on me. I need to stop doing that. Me, but again, please respect. Think about their champs and branch. Like, I'm not gonna tell them, like, what to respect, how, when, etc. So just, I just want them to press tab and think about, hmm, Camille has an E and an ult. Hmm, this guy has an ultimate and his range is that big. Hmm, I, that's that's all I want from them. Like, I know they're not the greatest players. I know they're not completely stupid, you know. Oh, if shit's going down. Maybe I need to hover. No, of his ult. I was so close from my ult. I give a shutdown. Okay, she dies now. Can't we? I mean, we have a very slow Nash. Uh, should I group? Should I actually group? Wait, my pressure, please. Like me said, it's it's a hundred percent play. Just wait my pressure. Okay, I'm gonna give them one last chance. And if I see that they're not playing the map well and they're not respecting, um, I would then uh, just group and play the five v fives. Just, just, just F, just F. Okay, nice. Stop, 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 stop. This is not doing anything.
be. What's the prince still doing? Well, I guess. Nice shit. What did he die from? Nidalee could come in time. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> what is happening here? What the fuck? Uh, I don't know if we can. Yeah, she has TP, okay. But why is TP? We can probably. Bro, he has the ward here. And he decides to TP to tier 1. Like. So bad. Okay, need a stop. She wants to defend Nash. Yes, I have. Yes, I, I do have it. Okay, it's time. Wait, all on map. Now we don't need to push top. Okay, push out one wave. The best play would be actually for me to be mid and my team bot, but I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time organizing them. Yo, yo, yo. No need top. Inhib open. Top. Go mid. Mid. And that's exactly how you know use Anash, like That's exactly how you know use Nash, but I cannot type and play at the same time. Please team, we have Nash, no need top. There is no turret top. All but me mid is best for mid. Me bot second best. Never Jin Solo top. Try again. Next like next day. Please listen. Your team has destroyed a turret. I know we don't have Nash anymore. So now the best play becomes again probably like them mid me bot. I mean there's still no objective, like I guess it can be bot. They don't give a shit. Look at what Warwick is doing on this timer. It's me and him. That's old soon. an ice cube IR. I think they don't have shutdowns anymore. We get we get the T3. Like this is actually fine. The fact that they get a shutdown a bit less. Yes, we play soul. No death before. Why Borg this game? Just wondering. Well, uh, Borg is just like pretty good item to have at this point when you don't need much crit anymore. Uh, it's good into more tanky champions because of the 12% enemy grant health physical damage. And it's also good into squishies because of the slow that you apply instantly. So it, it's going to help me catch uh, Nidalee, catch Fizz, catch Smolder. So it's just it's just a good item over. Also, it gives me life steal, so it allows me to stay on the map a bit longer. I am your 
just feels like a nice item. Run a ward gen. Okay, but wait. You are top because you have TP. <laughs> that's that's a lot of damage. But he was top because he has TP. And then fi finally he comes and he doesn't defend top. Boy. Oh, it's just the ult is on me. Okay. It was a bit int. But can you TP top way? <laughs> can you TP to a minion or something? Wait, Riot, why can I not ping? Why do you do that to us? Why do you do that to us, Riot? Why can I not ping my teammates teleport? Why can I not ping my teammates like champions? Makes zero sense. It's so bad. Okay, what's the worst change in League? Is it the fact that you cannot ping your allies stuff anymore? Or is it... Or is it the fact that everyone can have everyone's name? There's actually a pretty big fight between the two. Okay, we're chilling. All but, I beg. On my knees. I'm on my knees. IRL. For, for bot. <laughs> like, like, why, why, why do you guys even use chats? Like, I've been trying to use chat recently. Why do you even use? Like, what's the point of using chats? What's gonna happen? Are you just wasting time and energy? I, I, I really don't see it. What's the point of pinging, of using chats, all that shit? But your play is just bad, bad. It's bad. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. An enemy has been slain. I don't like make, making plays that rely on enemy team just like like here enemy team will kill them when they, they didn't even have a wave pressure you know we're not pressuring anything when we killed them but for me that's not a good play it's not because it worked that it's a good play now getting all the waves pushed in that's a good play They still have Smolder with three items and Karma. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I, I allow myself to get emotional as long as I, I keep playing the game, you know, and keep doing the right thing. The best thing is when I'm getting emotional, but it makes me play bad. I was still able to play well. They made this game way tougher than it should have. Yeah, I'm not surprised by my team's damage to it. Not really surprised. Okay, we take those. Um, might post it, might not. I don't know, we'll consider it off stream. 
If I did, thank you for watching it, guys. Next video is going to be two more same times in place. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck, have fun in game and in real life. And I'll see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.